Did you know that we're changing direction every 1.1 second? 75 to 80% of the movement on court is lateral, not forward. In this video, I'm going to show you two footwork patterns that will help you to get out to the ball, to a wide ball, to stay on balance, hit a controlled ball, and then also recover quickly back towards your ideal spot of recovery. And that is really the key, effective movement. Please make sure to subscribe to my channel, maybe recommend it to your tennis friends if you like my content, and also go ahead and click that bell on the top because that lets you know when I'm putting out new stuff. Before we get into the execution of those patterns, however, I want to point out three things that I believe all of us can do that the pros do. Now, it takes training, it takes practice, absolutely. But the three differences that I see the most between really highly developed players and recreational players, number one, is the pros have a super low base. And a lot of us players in recreation, we start out deep on a return. But then gradually, and especially when the rallies get longer, we are too upright. We might feel safer, we might not have the strength, whatever it is. This is what you want to work on. And I'm going to show you some footage from Paula Badosa, and it's just incredible how hard these players are working. So, high knee down. The second thing that is the key to going out and getting out to wide balls is the dynamic first step and then the second really long stride. Because you're not going to get to a ball like this. The adjustment steps, they come in at a different point as you're moving to the ball. What you're doing when you're being pulled out to a wide ball is you're coming down from your split step, split, boom. This is your first really dynamic step. And you see how my hip set out, my foot goes into the direction where I'm going to move. So I'm coming down, boom. My second step is a crossover. Because I can grab a lot more room with one big crossover. Dynamic first step here, big stride. Great movers, Djokovic, Sviantec, whoever you want to name. They are actually covering more ground in the air than on the court. They're not having as many contacts. They will have a lot of contact if they need adjustment steps, and that is number three. So you have your Dynamic first step out wide. Here is where I could have my adjustment steps to then have my next wide stride. Because here, I want to sink into my load and really use this here, this energy that I'm creating to, of course, transfer that energy into the ball and then let me carry back towards the center. So wider base, dynamic first step, second large stride, and the adjustment steps at the right time. Those are the keys. So let me show you what the mogul step is. Of course, I'm gonna do it very slowly. So what you're doing in essence is, as you're hitting this energy that lifts you up and into the ball, let that spill over into this hop step. And what you're seeing here is I'm staying low. I catch my balance. I'm staying in control here. I'm landing on my outside leg 
and I don't need an extra step to then come back towards the center of the court with a huge crossover. And of course, I'm gonna have Mo show you all of that in action. Wide strides. There we go, good. There we go, nice. One more. Good. 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 And you see that the little steps that Mo has taken in between, she's not getting up to the ball and then she hits the ball up here. She's using these little steps to calibrate her last wider step because this is where you get your power. You're not getting anything out of doing this. So absolutely fine to use these little steps, but they're not there to get you to the ball per se. They're there to get your proper spacing. All right, ready? Yep. Good. All right, low and wide stride. There we go, good. All right, fast first step, crossover. There we go, that's what I'm talking about, good. Get there, excellent. All right, next progression, I'm feeding. Oh, I gotta be meaner. There we go. Yep. There we go, good. Two more. Get there, get there, get behind it, nice. Oh, I was lying, you get one more, do it. Nice. The hinge step. I love to use the swing step, the hinge step, when I'm playing defense on my back end, especially with the slice, because it allows me to be super stable and low. And again, it gives me that explosive first step to come back towards the center. So what I'm doing is, I'm still getting my right leg in front. Good old close stance. And you see that because the ball pulls me out wide, I'm basically closed off to the court, as if I were to run towards the fence. But what I'm then doing is I let my left hip, my left shoulder swing around, as if I'm a door and I'm swiveling, swinging, hinging, <sighs> English. Anyways, you get the drift. So let's look at it one more time with a regular backhand as well. And I come back. Nice. Oh, that toss, good. Three more. And you see, because Mo doesn't have as much room to cover to go back to the middle, she doesn't have to use a crossover because that would literally push her over the hash mark here. So if you have short distances to cover back to the ideal spot of recovery, it's perfectly fine to just shuffle or just have a hop step, just like Mo just did. But when you're being pulled out further, your recovery step is your crossover. So you're having a little bit more distance to cover. See if you can get your crossover in on the recovery. So still stationary ball here, crossover. Nice, next ball, sets of six balls. Yep, left hip, left shoulder comes around. Get under the ball, use your legs, use your legs. There we go, low base, good, much better. All right, ready? Low, 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 yes, good. Good. All right, three more. Yep, recover properly all the way behind the baseline. Don't cheat. Get there. There we go. All right, cross court. Sets of six balls. Good. Good. Come, get there, get there, get there. There we go. Come, you got three more. I was lying. Two, go, nice, good, that's the intensity we need.